guys, it's Kieran, welcome back to my channel and welcome to New York City. I cannot believe I'm saying that right now, I am so fucking excited. If you saw my last video, you'll know that Harry and I have been in St. Lucia for four weeks on our med school elective and unfortunately that had to come to a close at some point and now here we are for a few days in New York and I'm so excited. This is one of my favourite places in the entire world so I of course had to vlog it. So I didn't have time to film anything this morning but I pretty much just got ready for the day and then we went out to the edge at Hudson Yards which was absolutely incredible. I just love the view of New York City and I've never seen it from there because it's relatively new. I haven't been here for like four years. This is actually Harry's first time in New York so it's really nice to like show him all the touristy areas and just do all of that fun stuff. So we spent a bit of time there and then we ended up walking the Chelsea High Line, going to the Chelsea Market and pretty much just wandering around. It's absolutely freezing in New York compared to um, St. Lucia and I am not prepared for that so we also did a little bit of shopping. So first things first, I got myself a New York hat, it had to happen and I really love red at the moment so I figured I would do that and then the other thing I got myself was actually a new coat because like I said it's absolutely freezing. It actually ended up snowing today like only a little bit but that's when you know it's really cold and you should be wearing a coat. So I just got this nice cream one from H&M and I actually really love it so I'm going to try and keep it in good condition, keep it clean and get it home nice and safe because this is actually like a really nice spring staple that I think I would actually wear a lot of the time. It's now the evening, we've come back for a little bit of downtime to get ready all over again for the evening and we are going to go on a little date night to a little pizza place which I found that they actually do gluten-free pizza and again so excited this whole day is just a blur and it's amazing and I'm just feeling almost overwhelmingly happy and it's just a really really refreshing nice feeling and I love the city environment there's just something about it but anyway we're going out to pizza like I said and then we've booked to go up the Empire State Building at night to see the whole city light up and that is one of my favourite things I've ever done. I did it like four years ago when I was last here like I mentioned and it is just amazing, it was actually magical to me and I can't wait to experience that in a completely different stage of life. Like back then I was highly depressed, I was single, I felt really lonely and being there felt amazing like it actually felt life-changing in a really cheesy way and now coming back much much healthier in terms of my mental health I've got a boyfriend now and just going there together and experiencing this it's just going to be incredible I'm really excited it's going to be a fun little date night evening type thing so I'll take you along with me for that and then tomorrow we've got even more fun plans so I hope you enjoy this video and let's just continue on into it It's snowing. After grabbing breakfast we headed over to Times Square to do some exploring and a little bit of shopping before going to Bryant Park and having a look around the New York Public Library. Then 
of course we had to go to Grand Central Station so I could have my Serena Vanderwoodson moment and we also popped into the St. Patrick's Cathedral before heading to lunch. For lunch we headed to the infamous cafe from the movie Serendipity which has been on my bucket list for so long so I'm really happy we got to go. So I got a peanut butter frozen hot chocolate, obviously a classic, we had to do it in this cafe and Harry got a salted caramel one. from the bathroom but we are headed to the Knicks game tonight which is going to be so fun I've never seen a basketball game have absolutely no clue what the rules are but I think the atmosphere is going to be fun and that's pretty much it so yeah <laughs> On our third day, we took the subway to Lower Manhattan to see Ground Zero before walking over to the Staten Island ferry port to catch the ferry. We mainly did this because it's a free ferry that gives you a really good view of the Statue of Liberty and it's only about an hour's round trip. For lunch, we headed over to Chinatown where I literally met one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. We had some amazing Vietnamese food and then headed over to the Brooklyn Bridge. And for our last night in New York, we went to the Comedy Cellar in Greenwich Village, which was so much fun. I highly recommend if you're in the area and then ended off the night with the most delicious gluten-free New York pizza. Okay, and that is it for the New York vlog. I've literally been sat here editing it, just reminiscing over all the memories we made. And I've got to say it was definitely one of my favorite places we went to on this elective, but the adventure does not stop there. We are headed over to Mexico next. And obviously I vlogged that too. So so if you're interested, definitely stay tuned, subscribe for that, it'll be coming very soon and I will see you then. Bye!